Hey. Hey, everybody. We're in, uh, we're in uh, Old Virginia City. Oh, no, wait. We're in uh, Oatman. Oh, no. wait. We're in, what's this place called? Oh, yeah. Tombstone. Tombstone. We're in Tombstone, yes. Arizona. <laughs> We're in the uh, touristy part, which is also the historical part. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, if you didn't know, this is a real town. It is a real town. I mean, there's like a, you know, Circle K and a AutoZone and down the road, so. And actually just a minute ago, a school bus drove by and it said Tombstone yeah. Unified School District for whatever reason that just tickled me because it's like, it's a real town. Yeah, it's a real town. So anyway, we came down here today. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, the Birdcage Theater is like right there in front of us. Big Nose Kate's is right behind us. Uh, the OK Corral is right down the road here. Uh, we We're definitely going to go to the cemetery though, for sure. Oh yeah, Boot Hill. Uh, it's not actually here. It's it's down the road, like I don't know, a half mile, mile on the highway. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're just here to check it out and see what's going on. I don't know. We'll see. We're we're headed back to Big Nose Kate's. She's hungry. And I don't want her passing out in Tombstone. You never know what happened to the lady passing out in Tombstone. Anyway, we're gonna go have lunch. We're gonna show you inside of Big Nose Kate's uh, a little bit and probably be in the B-roll. But uh, then after that, maybe during over lunch, we'll figure out what we're actually gonna do. So we, we came in here, they sat us down. It was, it's busy, but um, they had seats. Although there's, there's three other couples crammed up on this little tiny stage area. I don't know. But whatever, we got a seat right away. So and it's very cool in here, though. It's cool ambiance. There's things we can't show you, but it's cool. With the extreme close-up, like that picture about the piano. I don't think we can show that. No, we can't stop. We can't show that. It's not PG. So we uh, we finished lunch. How was lunch? Lunch was good. I wish I ordered it without a bun, but it was good. What did you order? The hangover burger. It had. I don't, a, what is it? It's a burger with a fried egg and cheese on top. It was good. It was good. So there's nothing wrong with fried egg and bacon on a on oh, burger. Oh, did I say bacon? Yeah, oh, bacon. No, she didn't, bacon. but I did. The bacon was amazing. Yeah, and uh, I got the pastrami. It was okay. There just wasn't enough pastrami. It tasted really good. Uh, no, so. Yeah. It's a cool environment in yeah. there. I'm glad we. I'm glad. Yeah, we big nose gates is kind of cool. It's worth going. In. And you can just go in and take pictures and stuff. There's a gift shop downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, but it's pretty cool. And then we went to the Birdcage Theater. Yeah. And it was actually really interesting. How much did it cost to get in? Twenty eight dollars. Twenty eight dollars. Really expensive. But it was really and interesting. I didn't see, there was I didn't a... see any ghosts. I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, it was kind of cool in there. I mean, you know, it's just, it's the actual Birdcage Theater. Yeah. A lot of these buildings. Uh, are, have, are either reproductions or they've been replaced because there were fires here and maybe they fell down or I don't know. They said but, there was two devastating fires and pretty much the whole town burned yeah, down except the Birdcage, Birdcage Theater. Birdcage Theater, I mean, it's obviously been renovated on the outside. The inside, original floor, original stage, original everything. Original bullet holes everywhere. Yeah. I mean, downstairs, the uh, the poker table where they had the eight-year game, the Pharaoh table, yeah. then that famous scene where, uh, you know, Doc Holliday did his little cup tricks. Mm -hmm. And you can actually buy a cup in there that says, I'm your huckleberry, you if you want to practice that at home. Exactly. You know, because that, that comes up a lot. You know, you're at a bar or, you know, Denny's or something, and somebody gets a little sassy. and. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In any case, uh, yeah, it was really cool. Now. I mean, uh, 28 bucks, I don't know. I mean, it's worth seeing. You know, just cool from the historical. I'm not entirely I mean, sure. The room where, where Wyatt Earp and, uh, uh, what's her name? Josephine. Josephine did it on multiple occasions, is there. You can look in it. I didn't realize it that she was uh, not just an actress, she was actually a working girl. And that they had actually had an affair. Are you saying actresses affair? don't work for a living? That's no. just, I hope none of you are actresses. I don't, I don't want you to take offense at that. I didn't realize that she was a lady of the night. Okay, is that a better way of saying it? And that Wyatt was actually a customer when he was in his common law marriage with Maddie. Hey, and you, he left Maddie for Josephine. You know what, sex workers have rights too, man. Stop denigrating the women who are just working for a living. Okay, and anyway. Yeah. I just thought that was interesting. I did not realize that that was their history, but they did get married and they were together for 40, 40 plus years before uh, Wyatt passed away. So. I'm pretty sure everyone back then, even, even men, were ladies of the night. <laughs> I think everyone was. Everyone was a prostitute and a gunfighter and a cowboy. Unless you weren't. See, they had these little signs and uh, like this one in particular, 
records two two shootings. A lot of people shot other people here. I'm actually gonna go. That's kind of what it's named named for. Jen's gonna go ask. We're looking for uh, the name escapes me at the moment. You know the uh, the sheriff. They got shot by uh, Curly Curly Bill. So Jen's okay. Jen's asking the okay. the guy. Like We're trying to figure it out. Hey, I'm what? gonna go walk down and walk back just to look to see him now. Oh, okay, I'll be over here. So Jen found who, what's the name of the dude? Uh, Marshall Fred White. Oh, that's right. So. Jen found uh, Jen found the plaque we were looking for. He actually was murdered right in front of the Birdcage Theater. Oh, that's not where they showed it in the movie. That is not. Oh. So, anyway, we're headed down to the uh, OK Corral. So, this is it. As you might be able to see by the sign back there. This is the OK Corral. This is the actual site of the shootout. And these here uh, stationary gentlemen represent the actors, players in, in, the, in the gunfight. You can hear him getting ready for the the uh, gunfight. Uh, that's the fly, fly photography, which is right next to where, and this is the OK Corral. So it's a, uh, it's kind of a, uh, I think as we said, surreal. It's really surreal that you're standing on a site that has been. You know, everyone knows about it. everyone knows about the OK Corral. You know, everyone's heard of it, heard of it. You've seen the movies. You know, especially Tombstone. And then you know, no, that that happened right here in this very spot. Yeah. It's, you know, 150 it's some odd years ago. A little surreal, honestly. And the map of where everybody's standing was actually hand drawn by White himself, and they actually have a a, a picture, or they they show the map. So it's a little. Yeah. It's a little surreal. So it's kind of cool. If you are a big fan of the movie Tombstone, or any of the White Herb related movies, there's several. There's Kevin Costner's White Herb. There's Shoot Out the OK Corral from back in the day. Um, this is a cool place to come because you actually get to come to these sites. I mean, you know, those aren't just movies. Those, that happened. Maybe not exactly the same, but yeah. for instance, I just read the sign over there, and it's like, did White Herb shoot Johnny Ringo? Well, in the movie, it shows Doc Holliday going to shoot him. In reality, he was found propped up against a tree with a bullet in his uh, in his temple. Uh, that's not how they portrayed it in the movie. No. But they still don't know. Wyatt Earp confessed to it late in his life, but there was no way to verify his claim. Um, maybe the movie having uh, Doc Holliday kill him was an attempt to, you know, Kind of guess at what might have happened if yeah. if White Earp didn't do it, but strange. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, if you've seen the movie and you're into that kind of stuff, it's like this is a really cool place. I mean, it is touristy and stuff. I mean, you know, it is. It, you kind of have to get past all of the tourist junk, yeah, in order to, to get, get to, to the, the real history. stuff. It's like I said, it's just like Virginia City. There's a lot of history. Mark Twain wrote for the Territorial Enterprise there, all those names, you know, the Sutro Tunnel, the v and Railroad, there's tons of history there. It's not ex exciting as the shootout at the OK Corral, yeah. but, uh, you know, there's tons of history, but you have to get below the dollar hot dogs and, you know, uh, jewelry shops and glass blowing and whatever else they have, so. Yeah. But, very cool, so, see? There it is. There's where the OK, uh, or the shootout at the OK Corral happened. So anyway, I think before we leave, we're going to go check out the courthouse. And then we're going to head over to uh, Boot Hill. And then we're going to uh, take off and call it a day. But, I don't know. It's cool being here.
for the record, we did not see the uh, the gunfight. Uh, it's like a comedy thing. It's not it's not historical reenactment or anything. I mean, it's probably loosely historical, but so we decided not to see it. We just went and saw the site. But uh, Jen's actually picking up a copy of the uh, Tombstone Epitaph, which is the daily newspaper. So, uh, bad lighting aside, you can probably tell we're we're at Boot Hill. We we went to the courthouse, but uh, they wanted uh, seven bucks each to get in, and uh, we decided that that wasn't worth it. You, you could spend a lot of money seeing all the stuff at. Uh, Tombstone. I mean, you could easily spend well over a hundred dollars, um, not including food. You know, just paying for all the attractions, paying for the gunfight, paying to see the OK Corral site, uh, uh, the Birdcage Theater. Uh, this cost a few bucks, although this is relatively cheap. Um, Stagecoach rides, trolley rides, but you could spend a lot of money. So, uh, anyway, we came here. Uh, they give you this little pamphlet to kind of show you where things are and the guy said I don't remember rows two and four I think have people we would uh, recognize but we have the map so and some of these some of these signs will be famous some of them have been recreated other places like Knott's Berry Farm um, because they're clever as we said standing at the OK Corral it's really surreal to think that 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 event that you've heard about since you were a little child you've seen in movies you've read about in history books, happened right where you're standing. This is equally as surreal it because is. this is not like Knott's Bray Farm. This is not fake. No. This place is full of dead bodies. Yeah, and honestly, just looking Real around men. right now, I see like seven that say unknown. They don't know who's here. They were they were buried here, Yeah. but they don't have names, which is so sad to me. So, That's sad. I don't know, we're gonna see what's going on, but uh, um, I have a feeling at the end of this video, when we say goodbye, you're gonna get a little B-roll of uh, headstones. So, but we, we might we might talk again on the way, show you some of the, the more famous ones before we uh, check out. Walking up and down here, we, we looked in our little map, our brochure. It's not a map, it just has a list of each row. And uh, it's like murdered, murdered, shot, shot, pneumonia, murdered, murdered. So that's the reasons of deaths. Uh, the, the one at the bottom of this first row is uh, killed by Indians. So, uh, lots of unknowns, which Jen has pointed out. Indians. Yep, we just found. Holo Lucero. Yeah, Holo Lucero, 1882, killed by Indians. Many, many unknowns. In fact, I would guess just by looking, unknowns outnumber knowns here. There's more markers that say unknown than uh, have a name on them. Frank Bulls here has a nice little downer on his uh, headstone. Yeah, his daughter Rem actually did that. Reminding us all, his daughter did Jen. <laughs> reminding us all that we will soon be just like him. Like, it's just for uh, posterity. You can add hanged to the uh, killed, murdered, hanged. There's also, you know, killed by Chinamen, killed by Mexicans, killed by Indians. There's a variety of ways that people died here. These two cowboys drowned. Drowned. You can add that one. As promised, probably the most famous tombstone here because it has its own little pun going on there. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44, no less, no more. This is recreated at Knott's Berry Farm uh, and probably 800 other places. It's probably the seen in one form or another tombstones ever because of that I mean there might be a few famous people but that's 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 history right there folks that's history this is Marshal Fred White who uh, was shown being killed in the movie tombstone this is his grave it's funny some of them oh well, it's funny but it's interesting some of them have these wreaths uh, some have money on them a lot of the uh, the like the the children that are buried here have money all over, and like it somehow these wreaths. I don't I don't know who's laying these wreaths, but so and some of the names I don't I don't recognize. I don't I'm not like oh yeah I totally you know know who that is. So they might be famous in history. I just don't know who they are. But. Yeah, I figured out. I'm standing right here in front of John Gillespie. Uh, doesn't say anything that's tombstone, 
but uh, he has another wreath, law enforcement. So someone from law, the, the, the ribbon on the, the wreath says fallen, never forgotten. So someone must come out here and lay wreaths on the, uh, the graves of fallen lawmen. And I'm sure there's quite a few here. I've probably seen half a dozen of those wreaths, if not more. So, so that explains that mystery. And that's kind of cool that, you know, 150 years after their, uh, you know, passing, they're still being uh, memorialized by uh, fellow officers. So that's kind of cool. So as I stand here in front of Six Shooter Jim's grave, shot by Bert Albert, who also shot another man over here. Um, a lot of these say shot by or just killed. You gotta remember, back in Tombstone especially, shooting a man wasn't necessarily a crime. If it was justified, and the justifications were probably a little less strict than they are today, uh, it was ruled illegal shooting and you went on with your life. So, yeah. you can also see that in the movie, you know, where uh, somebody shot somebody and they're like, hey, that was legal, and they're like, okay, have a nice day. So I would suspect many of the killeds and definitely the shot by so-and-sos are just that. And now I'm standing in a forest of unknowns. Every grave around me says unknown. Interesting note, uh, there was a gentleman here buried in 1945. His name was John Swain Slaughter. He actually lived to be 100 years old and spent his whole life in Tombstone. Yeah, so is... that means he was born in uh, 1845? Yeah. Well, he was here through all of that. He, he was. was uh, he was in his 30s. Or I guess his 20s when uh, when that all went down, the shooting at the OK Corral and crazy. Yeah, the stories he could have told for sure. Yeah, I think he was probably the oldest documented person in the cemetery that I saw. Yeah. Most of them actually don't say how old they were. Well, probably because they were quite young because they got murdered or killed or hung or lynched or died of some terrible disease. So. Or committed suicide in some terrible fashion. There's there's a yes. quite a few. Yeah. yeah. So. Anyway, uh, this was uh, this is actually a very interesting yeah. site. It's not touristy at all. Mm -mm. Um, it's and, just and it's they just a actually give you the pamphlet that tells you not everybody, but tells you how they died. Some of them they actually are witness witnesses accounts of how they died. So it's actually very historical, really kind of cool. Yeah, and it only costs a few bucks again. What did it cost? Six dollars. Six dollars mm -hmm. for both of us. So uh, totally worth the six dollars. Yeah, to yeah totally it. worth. It. I mean, you know, like I said, if nothing else, you get to see a few very famous stones. You get to see some famous people. Uh, you know, like the uh, victims. Victims, I don't know if it's the right word, but uh, the, the men who died at the uh, OK Corral. Yeah. Um, it's uh, that's kind of cool. you guys go. Uh, that's our little tour of Tombstone and the uh, Boot Hill Cemetery, very famous sites. And so now Jen is going to say her thing. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed our little glimpse at Tombstone. Um, thank you for all your amazing comments and all your amazing support and we'll see you all down the road. Bye bye. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs>